Hi, my name is Jamie Thule. I'm working on a solo mode for Button Shy Games Seasons of Rice, and there have been a few requests from people for me to record some sort of uh, video walkthrough or a tutorial, um, so I thought I'd do just that. So, in this solo mode, um, you've got an AI opponent that you're going to be competing against, and it's going to have a fixed layout of cards that it's making. So it's going to make two rows of cards, what I call diamonds out. So the card has a little diamond on it. Um, every card does. So it's going to make a row from left to right with the diamonds on the top side. After that, it's going to start making a second row underneath with the diamonds on the bottom side. Okay, so this is the layout that the AI is always going to follow. Each card that it takes is going to be placed in sequence, but it's going to try to make a few intelligent decisions along the way, and it's going to get a little boost in scoring at the end to try to give it a leg up. So, there's a few modifications to how this plays, but for the most part, you'll be playing and building your space as usual. The AI will be following a specific set of rules. So, uh, I already did setup, which is the AI gets an ancestor at random and a landscape card at random. You get to do setup just as you normally would. So, with the wet season, uh, it's going to play a little differently because the AI can't handle a true draft. So what you're going to do is for your turn in the wet season, you're going to draw three cards and you're going to look at all of them. You're going to pick one that you want to put in your landscape, one to put in the dry season row, and then you're going to offer one to the AI. And the AI may or may not take it. So, I'm going to look at these, and I'm going to take this one, I think, for myself, because I have Golden Boy, so I just want more farmers than my opponent. I'm going to give the AI this one as an offer, and I'm going to put this one in the dry season row. Now the AI gets to take its turn. It's going to draw one extra card, and it's going to compare the two of these. So, the AI is going to decide between these two cards on a couple of factors. It first of all wants to close a patty, if it can. If it can't close a patty, it wants a house. If there's no patty or a house, it will just take the card that you offered it. And if there's ever a tie in there, it will just take the one that you offered. Okay, so it looks like both of these would close this patty. So it's going to take the tiebreaker, which is it's going to take this one. Okay, so it's going to close up this patty. Um, I'm going to do all of the AI's scoring right at the end for simplicity. Um, so I'm not going to worry about doing anything here. The card that the AI doesn't take goes into the dry season row just like if you were playing against a regular human opponent. And now it's back to my turn. Let's see here. I'm going to put this card right there. So I'm going to close the patty for three, four, five points. And then with these cards, let's see, this might make something that's too big for the AI to close efficiently. So I'm going to try putting, well, I'm going to offer that to the AI. I'm going to put that one in the dry season row. The AI will take the one that will close a patty. It can't close a patty in this instance, so it'll take the one with the house. And back to my turn. Are there any 
of these I really don't want the AA to have. I should flip them. Oh, I could give it this one, because if I gave it this one, it would wind up leaving an opening over here and it would never close this patty. Um, I'm thinking that's the best thing to offer the AI here. And I'll go ahead and place this card here. And we'll go over there. Um, let's see here. Four patties is eight. And I'm going to double check. I believe four armors is worth eight points as well. So I'll take 16. Alright, so the AI now has to choose between this card and this second card. Um, this one won't close a patty either, so it'll take the one I offered. It also has a house, so that's an excuse for it to take it. Last of all, there are two cards. It's not enough for me to take a turn, so top card goes to me, bottom card goes to the AI. I have no control over this card or this card. So it's going to put this one right here because it's going to start doing its diamonds downward placement. It's overall diamonds out, so diamonds on the outside, not towards the middle. This card... Honestly, I think I'll just put it right here. Four, three, four. And the AI closed another patty. I'm going to do the scoring at the end. So now the dry season's effectively started. Um, so I'll have to pay attention to the AI's ability, which is during the dry season, two extra points for each patty that is closed. So now that we're in the dry season, um, I'm going to pick a card as I usually would, and then the AI will pick a card. When the AI picks a card, it's going to look from the left. It's going to try to find the first card that will close a patty. If it doesn't find any that will close a patty, it will take one that has a house. If it doesn't find any that have a house, it will take whatever's on the furthest left. First of all, I'm going to take these cards and I'm going to rotate them all so that I can have them oriented the same way. To make it a little easier to evaluate the AI's decisions. Um, let's see here. A couple farmers. I'm already beating the AI on farmers pretty well, I think. What the heck? I'll take this one. I'll put it right over here. And now the AI is going to choose. So the AI is looking from the left. First thing that will close a patty looks like this one. Um, for my choice, uh, oh, it just closed a patty in the dry season. Gets two points. Got to remember to mark that. I was looking at this one. Put right over here. One, two, three, four is eight plus three for two farmers. I'll get 11 points. AI is going to look for something that closes a patty. This one will close a patty for sure. In fact, it will close two patties. So it's going to chalk up another four points for the ancestor. Um. really don't necessarily want the AI to have either of these. I think I will take this one and I'm gonna have to adjust my space up a little bit here. I'll put this right in here for four patties is eight plus two. Ten points. All right, the AI will take this last one. Pop it right there. And that's another two points because it closed this patty here. All right. So I'll look at my final scoring first. I get 
four points if I have more farmers than my opponent. It seems pretty obvious that I do. So it'll be 50 points. Additionally, score one point, so 51. So the AI has scored for its ancestor. Um, it's going to get docked for any stranded buffaloes, as usual. So it's going to lose a point here. So now I'm going to look for its highest value patty. Let's see here. This one and this one are both three squares for eight points. No, five points. So it's going to take its highest value patty, which is five points, and it's going to multiply that by the number of patties that it has that are closed. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to score 30 points. So I've beaten the AI. I beat it pretty badly here. Um, it needs a little bit of work, but that's the basics on how it plays. Um, sometimes it fares a little better. Sometimes it fails a, fares a little worse. Um, you've got a good amount of room to manipulate it, um, but you have to pay attention to a number of things to prevent it from doing like one really big patty that could really swamp you. So yeah, that is my solo mode for Seasons of Rice. I hope you like it.